Right, okay, this is a random Scottish fan fiction, chapter 7, it's been read by me. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Curiouser and curiouser, Alice tumbling down the rabbit's hole. <laughs> I think it was Dumbledore who said that. Ruffle Paul Ruffle pulled. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you finally got one. <laughs> Hey, stop here, man. I gotta take a whiz. I would never say that. Fat'll be 50 pounds for bus fare. Not far off I actual bus fare. Yeah, it's probably not <laughs> right. No, I don't think so. But it's only fair. Life's not fair. Sir Ruffle Paul went. He went into the gas state and bathroom. <laughs> if, if this guy's gonna write a fan fiction about Scottish people, he really has to use Scottish language and not this nonsense American crap like gas station and bathroom <laughs> and was and yeah bathroom <laughs> he stood at the mirror and whisked his long shoulder length har <laughs> and opened his emerald eyes fuck me this is this is this is literally eight years ago he immediately regretted it dahera touche the sink and got all gunked and gross uh. ah he said panicked he backed away and tripped over a pyramid of cockroaches the size of a frog. It's not that big there, really. And fell into the toilet. The inside smell of death. Is this a, is this a scene from Train? No, this is a callback to you dropping your phone into the toilet. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! I hope it is. And poop. <laughs> Rufflepaw tries to clamber up the side, but it was too slippery with butt slime. He slid in exorably toward the bottom of the toilet bowl. This is like a fetish yeah. fan fiction. This this is a combination of the chapter of um, Harry Potter and the Dongs of Marrakesh <laughs> and the scene from Trains. Harry, am I Scattenheimer? I must teach you the ways. Yeah, I don't think that was ever on our channel, though. No, no, because none of it was. <laughs> though... We did say we did we did provide a an, a link to it, yeah. An, yeah, yeah. He plunged into the nocturnal nest of nastiness and he began to sink down, 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 <laughs> ten feet down, twenty feet, nine thousand feet. <laughs> oh no, he talked. Not over nine. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. One more, i.e., over nine thousand. Yeah. Into the septic sludge saucer, and he would be done for. But then he remembered he had entered this horrible bathroom with a ah, ah, bladder full to bursting, and now he will harness this power to escape. <laughs> this is a terrible chapter. This is just an individual adventure. Yeah, this is... Well, it's good that you're reading it, because it is your chapter. This does not further the plot. That's just true. Burst, burst, time to make this bladder burst, he rapped, giving his urine the courage to be gangsta as shite. <laughs> like, what would actually happen in this situation if basically you pissed yourself? <laughs> 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 Rufflepaw shot upward like a bottle ro roquet. He could see the circle of life above him getting bigger and biffer. Everything would be okay. But then, something started to block the light. It was like an eclipse. Something, or some semicolon ing, was closing the lid. Everyone? <coughs> no! no! To! To! He yelled. Rufflepaw looked down at his dong boosters. What the fuck? Hair was running out full piss. He could already feel himself losing momentum. Just like Owen Smith. Could he hit the lid hard enough? He doubted he could make it in Tim. This was bad. But not as bad as the book Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, take, take that, Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> but then he saw who it was closing the lid. Samara from Fey Ring. Oh, who's who's... Who's Samara in um, the Ring? In Thing, who's Samara in My Immortal? Is it Snake? Is it? Or is it? No, it's this. Uh, it's Lu Lucian. Okay, but she's also or Samara everything. from Hey Fe Ring. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Ruffle Paul smacked her overrated face. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Bitch. Take that, ghost yeah. girl. <laughs> His fingers closed on the edge of the toilet. He jumped her down and looked to ruin. Samara has nowhere to be found. Maybe the cockroaches had eaten her, or maybe she just realised she was in the boys' room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a genuinely good joke. He looked down at him, slef, slimy and smelly. Couldn't finish up his date like his this. Date? His date? What? 
he went back to the sink and activated the soap desponder. A myriapod splomp. That's also a quite good word. <laughs> out into his hand. Figures, he said. But the thoughtful cockroaches gave him some action. Axe. These are very friendly cockroaches. Not, not, nothing to say about axe, Paul. Axe. Should be lynx. Axe is what they call it over here. Oh, uh, all right. I didn't Speaking know of which, it was called something. Walkers is called Lays, and that's the most disgusting name for crisps in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it's called Lays everywhere that isn't here. The yeah, UK, no. though. yeah, so disgusting, and it's yellow as well. Whoa, how thoughtful of you, said Russell Paul. And after several hours of washing, he finally came out. <laughs> Took you long enough, Mongolia sniped. Two countries. Did you fall in or what? Nays, Lionheart. Fuck you, said Ruffled Paul. Not ruffling one bit. And then you have to imagine me folding my arms <laughs> in disgust. So they went. So you get a piss rocket. Mango <laughs> gets like different name powers, and I'm I become a fucking horse. <laughs> I think I think Stephen got the best deal here. Yeah, he just gets Mango. Stephen has fantastic names. Every 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 fucking other line, my God, and we dad. just keep ours for like the whole chapter. Occasionally it changes slightly. Looking at the tags. Shamwo. <laughs> Pissed off pistol. Thinking with portals. <laughs> <laughs> MLP friendship is magic. 